Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Nina with another haul coming to you from Houston. Um, my husband is working this week at NASA and um, he was so awesome. It's a nine hour drive and rather than fly, he um, offered to rent a van and bring me and the dogs <laughs> with him. And so here we are. Um, today was my first day and I spent it at the bins. Um, I got 56 pounds. Um, it's 219 if you buy under 50 pounds and it's 179 if you buy 50 pounds or more. So I'm going to show you what I found. Um, 56 pounds is a lot of stuff. I haven't counted the number of items, but it's a lot. Um, and I don't know if there's more than one bins at in Houston. This is the one that's on Gessner Road, G-E-S-S-N-E-R. Um, and it was pretty good. They had like maybe six rotations while I was there. I've got a few things on the floor, so pardon me while I bend down. I'll get the first item, which is this pair of boots. Um, they have Vibram soles. I could not see inside what they are. They looked like... Um, fat boys to me, but they don't have the Ariat label on them, so um, they need a little bit of cleaning up. They're a bit worn on the bottoms. They're definitely dirty, but still in great condition. Boots last forever. Super heavy. Um, what I'm going to do with these is take them to my cobbler. Um, he has a little section where he sells items, and I'll probably take them there since there's not any branding he might actually know what the brand is because he works on a lot of boots so that's the first item I'll do all my shoes first here's a pair of Columbia um, women's hiking boots all leather gray uh, a little bit dirty but easy to clean up not a ton of wear size 8 um, yeah, I like that gray leather. So they're a little bit bigger. They fit me, but I like that pair. Um, next pair I found was this pair of Sam Edelman. Um, little kind of Berkey knockoffs. They are calf hair with the leopard print. Barely anywhere to the bottom, so you can still read every little bit of it. Awesome. And I think these are a size 10. I knew they were pretty big. Then I found some CRs, Creative Recreation, um, really bright green canvas CRs, good condition, size 10 and a half. Um, I think these are women's because that 10 and a half says 44 and a men's 44 would be more like a, an 11 or 11 and a half. This is a new brand to me, but when I picked them up, I knew that they were interesting and probably something. Um, the bottom says ceremony and the brand is called opening ceremony. Um, they are white, kind of slip-ons. Um, they need a little cleaning. I don't think that a bucket of bleach is gonna hurt these at all. So that's how I plan on cleaning them up. Um, when I did comps on these, you know, you trust your gut. They are leather on the interior, so that was something. Um, I can't find, oh, they're size 38. It's there at the bottom. And um, comps on these were anywhere from 25 to 40. And then the last thing I found as far as shoes were these um, Adidas, or sorry, not Adidas, Nikes. Um, kind of funky and can't tell if you can see in the back, it's like ostrich. It's probably faux ostrich. Um, they're from 2007. I looked them up on eBay. There was only one pair like this that was for sale and they were listed for $89. So I went ahead and got these. They are a men's size 11 and a half. Very cool high tops. So that's all the shoes. Um, little thing that I found was this pretty 
scarf made of rabbit fur. It is from Folio, New York. Um, it's like an open weave with these little dangly tassels that are also a mix of wool and rabbit fur. Just really pretty and really soft. Love that. And we'll start over here. Dolan, left coast. Uh, just a little cardigan. It's a size small. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Dolan because their stuff is really very nicely made and I like their styles. There are things that I would probably wear myself, but it doesn't sell for me um, very well. So I'm actually planning to send this to ThreadUp. I have a ThreadUp label at home. So that was the plan for that. Next piece is this Chico's tunic length. It's kind of a, a double layered um, linen top. So it's got this under layer and then a big slit and then kind of a tunic length here in this sort of spring green color. It's in great shape. It's a Chico size two. Um, I'm also sending that to thread up. I have a turquoise one like that at home too. Um, more linen that I found, this J. Jill, pure Jill linen top, kind of a boxy fit in a gray and white block print. Um, very clean, big sort of log and look top. I will sell that. I found another J. Jill white piece, um, also linen. A little shift dress with pockets. I find these quite often in different colors and in florals and prints and they always seem to sell for around 25 or 30 for me. So that's where I'm hoping to be with those. Um, this is another brand that I have love-hate relationship with. It's BCBG. Max Azria, but this one also said runway on the bottom. Can you see that? And it's this silk um, sort of batik with a ruffle here. Um, keyhole cut out in the back with a couple of hooks. And then the bottom is brown and it has a sort of a leaf imprint. I don't know if you can see that. I know the lighting is starting to change because getting darker you can see the leaf there um, so I picked it up just because it said runway I think I'm gonna send this in also to either thread up or the real real I might look and see if I can Google lens it um, next piece is by Koss. I forgot what that stands for um, Koss, C-O-S and I think I've heard of that brand in a haul video. This is just a um, bat wing top. It's all rayon, but it's that rayon that kind of, it's very shimmery and almost looks like silk. And you could, I could tell by the feel of it that it was really nice quality. Um, similar items to this have sold for 30 to $40. Collection of style is what cost stands for. So I picked that up. And then, next item is this pretty dress by Bowden. It's a U.S. size 12, um, just jersey knit, um, pretty modern style. I did not look up the style, but um, I can tell by like this ruffled shoulder that it's a newer style. It's got a banded waist and it's a midi length. Yep, midi length, good size, good brand, staple seller. Found a bunch of t-shirts. Um, first one is by All Style, not a brand that really matters, but the print, this is Frida Kahlo. And I thought it was a cute rendition of her with the big colorful hair, um, very feminist icon. That's a size small. The next one is also not an 
any major brand. It's called Flying Horse. Um, and it is a size large. Again, this was the, the theme that got me. It says dab on them. And it shows a Bugs Bunny sort of figure wearing um, number 23, Michael Jordan. It's a raglan sleeve t-shirt, size large, but I think this is a women's large. So, you know, Michael Jordan is a favorite, fan favorite. Um, it does have a little stain on the back, but I think I can get that out. And if not, I'll just disclose it. All right, next item is this Zion Bob Marley T. Wake up and live with his signature on the bottom. It's a women's size small. Classic Marley. Can't go wrong with that. This one was a debate, but I decided to get it. It was missing the tag. It's been cut out but the t-shirt is very high quality. Um, it doesn't have side seams and it is, it says it's a Louis Vuitton. I would love to get your um, feedback on whether this is authentic or not. But it's really thick, it's definitely 100% cotton. I'd say this is a men's maybe um, 2X. Good condition, no dirt. Took my chances on that one. Another men's shirt here. This one is by Affliction, which I don't believe they make anymore. My husband and I are both um, UFC fans. We watch it pretty much and, you know, bucket list to go to a, a fight. But this is a, um, like a mixed martial arts brand um, made to look kind of distressed. I believe it is, it's hard to tell, but it's probably a men's medium. That's my guess, men's medium by Affliction. That's a great brand, so make sure you're looking for that one in the men's section if you're looking in the men's section. And then final sort of t-shirty thing is a really a t-shirt hoodie. It's Polo Ralph Lauren, which is not something that I pick up a ton um, I do get the big pony if I can find it in good condition. And this is just a long sleeve t-shirt hoodie with the big polo horsey right in the middle. Classic. It will probably come back around again too. So that's that pile. I found one bra that I felt like was worth picking up. This is a Kashyyyk bra in great condition. Kashyyyk. And it's a size 40 G. Um, doesn't look like it's been worn much, as you can see. It's all in great condition. So, sort of a minimizer. There's, um, it's padded, but not super padded. You know, just some light padding so that things don't show through. I only got a couple of kids' items. This was one of them. It's a little Speedo. Um, swimsuit women's or sorry girls size large and it's new attacks weighed almost nothing so pick that up another swimsuit item this is also a kashyyyk also size it's a size 20 it's a little bikini bathing suit top with a ruffle hefty padding throughout um, could do the mix and match thing, wear it with black or turquoise or pink or purple. It's got all those colors in it, so it's a great find. I think I do pretty well with the Kashyyyk and Torrid bathing suits. Um, and this, I think this is also a bathing suit top. This is actually an Athleta bathing suit top. Um, it's got the racer back with the crisscross sort of caged. It is um, sort of a peplum gathered hem. Um, it's an older tag, that plastic tag, but it's still in great condition. 
Um, I can't tell what size it is just from the tag. I, I'm guessing it's a large, just based on how it fits me. And I, I loved the, the colors, very classic sort of um, paisley floral detail and pretty colors that were very fall to me. So I liked picking that up. This was something I threw in my cart to look up and I forgot to look it up before I checked out. Um, got some pocket detail. They're a pair of men's jeans and they are by LL Cool J. I haven't looked these up yet. They're a size 34 by 32, which would probably fit my husband if they're not worth selling. Um, it's a little bit of distressing on the hems, otherwise they're in good condition. So I'll look that up and see what the comps are before I decide what to do with those. Um, one of the bins, so I, I, I stayed and I think they did like uh, five or six rotations. It was actually pretty, pretty busy and pretty organized. I was surprised. But I found this dress. Um, it has a hoodie that detaches. It is, it says, it's just there on the back. Um, it's got some detailing embroidered on the side here. It's a zip front bodycon. And I debated whether to get it or not. It's actually a brand Desigual. Can you read that? Desigual. Um, so I did what I should have done and I looked up comps and I actually saw one that was similar, only it was in a fatigue green that sold for 40 on Poshmark. So I decided to get that. Um, I found another Desigual piece. I found three pieces actually. There was a sweater that I ended up putting back just because it was, uh, it had some stains in it that I didn't think I could get out. Um, but there's this mini skirt that's kind of ballooned. I don't know if that style is still in or not, but it's Desigual. It's kind of a funky, funky thing. Um, don't know what size it is. Size 36, it says. I don't think that's a women's 36. I don't know. It says 36. I'll have to figure out what that means in desigual sizes. All right, my other kids item is this cute little jacket. It's got a couple of stains on it that I do think I can get out. It's hooded. It's got signature buttons. If you can read them, let's say Mini Bowden. And that is what it is. It's a Mini Bowden. So, I've only had one or two other Mini Bowden pieces and I've sold both of them. So I know that it's a pretty decent seller. And with winter coming along, I figured this would be a cute little jacket. Next item is a Nike Pro Combat Hyper Warm Compression Fit Top in gray and bright yellow. Um, it's a size medium fitted Nike Pro Combat. It's about the only Nike that I pick up at this point when it comes to lightweight items. Um, did get a couple of heavyweight things. I found some doilies. Shout out to um, Chelsea Sunshine who says pick up doilies at the bins. <laughs> so I did. I'll put those in a lot. Next item is also a men's. It is a pair of swim trunks. Um, just basic black but they are North Face. You can see that. Here is the other tag on the inside. They're in good condition. They're size extra large. So can't go wrong with that. Next is also a sports brand, Adidas. This is a soccer shirt. I'm not sure which soccer club that is. Manchester, maybe. I'm guessing Manchester um, football club because of the crown probably the british oh no it's not <laughs> it says right here real madrid Alrighty. um 
the size is worn off. So I'm gonna guess that this is a men's small or medium, but it's in good condition other than that. No snags, nothing like that. All right, let me move some things down. Make some room for the items. I've got a few things back here on the floor too. All right, so let's go ahead. Next thing I found is this moth from Anthropology sweater. I went back and forth with this because, you know, it feels really good and it's, it, it's um, thick and well made. You can see in the back the seam, everything's matched up really nicely. Um, so I looked it up. I found one on Poshmark that had sold for about 25 so I figured I would get it. I may send this in to, um, might send it in to thread up. We'll see. Next thing I found is this cabbie open front cardigan in size extra large. Another item that I kind of debated whether or not to get. It's open front. Um, it's kind of a gray cotton blend. Feels like it's got a little bit of cashmere in it. I have to check the tag. And it's got this open, hello, <laughs> it's got this open um, cutout in the back. There were quite a number of these and they were selling for 25-ish, 25. I even saw one I think that sold for 40. So I decided to take a chance on that given that it's such a good size. Um, next thing I found is this hoodie. It is a Vans basic black hoodie. It's got zip pockets, let's see here, at least one zip pocket, and it does go all the way across, so it's a zip kangaroo pocket. Um, it's got some logo detail on the back. It is in great condition, got a little bit of um, dirt that I need to wash off, and it's a size extra large men's. So I thought that was a great find. I might actually distress that one or reverse tie-dye it or something. I've done that with some t-shirts I think I've told you guys. I sold them all really quickly. Um, in the hoodie theme, I found this hoodie, which is a Nike hoodie. Also, so there's the Nike swoosh. Paris Saint-Germain is um, also a soccer team. And this one is sort of a black and navy two-tone. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I'm right by the window because there's no overhead lighting in our hotel room. So, and I didn't think to bring a light kit with me. Okay, so that was a size 2X for that. Um, next, I, I went back to get these because when I first went to check out, um, I had 47 pounds and... I wanted to get to that 50 pounds, so I went back and got a couple of things from a reject pile, and um, these two things were in that pile. So they are ASOS, which isn't the greatest brand, but this one is new with tags. It's kind of, um, it's a hoodie, sweater, and a rack with pockets all around there and at the bottom. It's a size, I think this was a size 5X. And there was this one and then a, another one exactly like it, but without the tag. Same size and everything. So I picked both of these up. Um, again, comps were sort of everywhere, 25 to 40. So I figured I'd get those. Next is this cute women's chambray shirt from the Disney store. It's a size large and it is embroidered with all the things Disney. We've got Pluto, we've got Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, um, Donald or Daffy. <laughs> One of those. Um, anyway, cotton can't go wrong with an embroidered Disney shirt in chambray. I should be a teacher. <laughs> Another item that I thought was great 
really lightweight is this Carhartt Force Relaxed Fit vented shirt. It's vented in the back. It looks like it's never been worn. It's a men's size large. It's got the convertible camp sleeves and I was really happy to find that. For hunting and camping season that is coming up. Zara. I've heard a lot of you guys talking about Zara. So I picked up Zara at the bins. Um, mostly because of the print on this shirt. It's just a button front shirt. Nothing super fancy. It's a bit fitted. But the print on it is very Florida or um, sort of southern U.S. It's got turtles and alligators and swamp flowers and palm trees and I just thought it was cute. So it was super lightweight too so why not give it a try. This is a vintage item that whenever I find them I get excited. Um, it's a Wrangler sort of vintage western shirt. This is one of those really thick almost canvasy cotton shirts. A lot of times you'll find them in Aztec prints. Um, this one is not Aztec, but it's in a block print. So it's navy and white and green, and it has appliqued stripes and things like that. It is pearl snap, and all the snaps are in place and functioning and not missing their caps. And the white is in decent condition, and it's a size extra large, so I picked that up. 25, 25, 30. I've sold the, I've sold some of these for pretty good money. Um, getting to one of the first things I found, which was this Vince shirt. It is a women's, no, it is a men's shirt. It is a size, it says size large, but I think this must be a women's. Does Vince do their buttons differently? Cause this is buttoned right for I think this is buttoned like it should be for men. But it had the new, it had this little thingy on through the button hole. Um, so I don't think it's ever been worn, even though it's super wrinkly. It's a very lightweight cotton. Um, it says it's a size large. It's definitely not a men's large. This is a women's shirt for sure. So anyway, they do their buttons weird. Kind of like um, Frank and Eileen does that too. They they do their women's buttons on the men's side. So it's a little confusing when you find their shirts too. I was excited when I found this shirt too. Um, again, another chambray that's embroidered. It's embroidered with surfboards. And I was surprised when I saw the tag that it's a Robert Graham. Um, tried to look up to see if this was anything special. I only found one currently listed and it is listed on eBay for $25, which was a little bit of a disappointment, but you know, I think I could probably do better than that. Um, this one is a size large and it's in really great condition. So we'll see. Looks like it's missing one of the button down buttons, but it's not a signature button, so I think I can replace that. I'll have to check and see if the replacement button is actually here or not. All right, getting down to towards the end, maybe 10 more items. I found this hat um, from Obey. It says Obey there and Obey here also. So I think it's authentic, hard to say. Um, I'll have to look and see if they made this style. It's got a little bit of um, staining there. Just, you know, I think I can sponge that off. 100% cotton, does not really say a size. It's adjustable, so cute hat. A little bit big for me. Okay, there's that one. And then I found this one, which is Outrageous. Um, it's just a packable hat, kind of like a safari hat. It's got this tie detail in the front. Um, 
from what I can tell. Hello, how are you today? Um, they were sold, oh, I can't remember what store came up when I was searching this, but it's packable, it's light. Um, I like hats, I got that one. This is a, this, this doesn't have a tag in it and I probably shouldn't have gotten it, but just something about it just said, buy me. So I did, I think it's an extra large. I'm gonna put the sleeve on to just show you some of the detail. It's one of those, it's velvet, luscious, luscious velvet with that crochet detail. This is the sleeve, both of them have that kind of open detail. Um, and then kind of the squares crochet together and, and then it buttons closed. And it's a long line piece very elegant, kind of like sexy elegant, but comfy. Um, I just liked it, so I got it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna describe it, help me. <laughs> All right, a couple of odd things. These were a couple of things that I went back when I needed to add a few more pounds. I found this piece of fun fabric. I think it's 45 wide and it's about two yards. So that's one yard and it's doubled. Um, just has these cute uh, lions and cats of all sorts. Maybe some leopards here, or maybe a panther. Uh, just really cute. Thought it would be cute for someone to make something for their baby. I am a sucker for fabric. I grew up sewing. I still have fabric that my parents had from the 1960s that I just have. <laughs> I, I can't cut into it. It's, it's sentimental and it's unique and I'm scared to do anything with it. So I just hang on to it. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem? All right, last thing that I picked up when I needed more poundage was this wool blanket. It is a stadium blanket, but the, the that's what I'm calling it, a stadium blanket. The tag is by Ballantine and it's made in Scotland. I'm pretty sure that it's all wool. Um, it says weavers since 1650. Ballantine rug is what the tag says. So maybe it's not a rug, but that's the company typically makes rugs. Um, it's just beautiful stadium blanket. This is the type of thing that you take to a football game to keep yourself warm. It's got a couple of little moth holes in it, but nothing that would deter someone, I think, from buying that. It's just like one of those pieces that you'll keep forever. Okay, I gotta, I think I'm gonna do this pile because that pile is mostly stuff that I bought for family. So, hold on. These are all the winter goodies that I found for I am. First one is these snowboarding pants by Ride. I think I can prompt, they're bright orange. They are women's, I believe, size, medium. Um, it says Ride Snowboards back here. Pretty bright orange color. They have the snaps at the bottoms. It's got a couple little stains on them, but Nothing that I can't disclose or maybe even get out. So I'm excited about those. I think I saw, again, comps between um, 25 and 40 for that. I don't buy tons of Gap, but puffers and particularly packable puffers are always in. And this was a 3XL navy blue um, cover the butt packable puffer. So I picked that up. This was a great find. It is a ski bib that is covered in dog or cat hair at the moment. Um, let's see what size. Don't know what size. I will find the size. Size 34. Smells a little moth bolly, but it's by Patagonia. So I was excited to find that. Um, these zip at the bottom, 
I have contrast blue on the inside and um, you know, they're gonna keep you dry. They just need to be washed and cleaned up. I'll probably pack those separately. Ooh, now my nose itches. Must be cat hair. <sighs> okay, and then I was also excited about this because it's kind of in the same vein, but I think this might actually be vintage. And this is a North Face. Let's see if I can find the tag. North Face Extreme. Okay, hold on. Sorry, not doing a great job here. North Face Extreme. It used to belong to Charlie. Um, it's Gore-Tex. It's a size extra large. And I'm gonna have to stand back in order to show you this funky thing. The only problem with it, aside from, you know, a few stains, there we go. Cool. Um, the only problem with it is that I, one of these legs had a little bit of a hole in it. It's got some staining, but I thought it was very cool. Um, super heavy. The legs are not quite as heavy as the top, but um, it has a belt that's still attached. It's adjustable. It's got some hooks so you can attach things to it. Um, it zips with pockets. North Face Extreme. What do you think? I have not run comps on this. Um, I looked for the hood, but couldn't find it. And so much for me trying not to pick up super heavy, bulky things since we've got to drive home, and this is only day one, and I've got two more days of shopping. Um, I got a couple of bags to take stuff in. I have another accidental purchase that was in the bottom of my cart. When I first got there, there weren't any carts. But when I looked at this, I'm like, okay, it's Pottery Barn. <laughs> they are Pottery Barn. It says, um, Aqua Easy Care Placemat Made in China. Oh, not, not Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel. Can you see that? Crate and Barrel. They're all brand new. They're, it's a set of 12 of them. So I can probably sell that for something. It probably weighs two pounds, so it cost me less than four dollars. Okay, final pieces, things that I got for family. This is a Ranger vest. My husband really wants to go hunting just hasn't found anyone to go hunting with. It's actual ranger vest. It has a hood that zips into place. He's excited about that. I got this for my dad. He's 90. He just broke his hip today. So if you're the praying kind, say a prayer for my dad. Um, I was shopping and thinking of him when it happened. So he's in the hospital right now but he's overseas, which is why I'm not there. Uh, it's not a good thing when a 90 year old breaks their hip, so. Um, also got these pajama pants that were new with tag. They're Nautica. They have pockets for pops. And we're going to visualize him wearing those when it gets cold. And then final thing that I got for my dad Maybe not. We'll see. I'll do comps on it first. <laughs> um, this guess. Uh, it's uh, just a jacket. Kind of like a trucker style jacket. It's got buttons right there. Signature buttons. Just zip front. And that's my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm going back to the bins tomorrow. I might go to Buffalo Exchange. There's not one of those in my area. And I hear the one here is in the um, in the sort of gay artsy district, so they have good stuff. So I'm going to go there. And then Thursday, I plan on going to the Thrift Family Outlet if I can get up that early. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorites were. Say a prayer for my dad. I'll talk to you later. Bye.